been home to one of the biggest and greatest musicals of all time. We're talking about the brilliant Andrew Lloyd Webber production of The Phantom of the Opera. That's right, at Her Majesty's Theatre in the Haymarket in the very heart of London. A venue, I might point out, that I've been lucky enough to tread the boards myself. It's a wonderful venue and steeped in history, as is the whole Haymarket area. If you get a chance to come to London as ever, I like to share those things with you. But with all sorts of things now regarding the coronation, everything's looking at, well, shall we say, changing phase, quite literally. Over here recently, we've just been given our brand new stamps with King Charles III on them. There are stories about certain letterboxes already being redesigned with the new cipher on them, although I think that could take some considerable time, not just because of the postal strikes, but really, you know, a lot of people have been saying this also. How many people still now post letters? I mean, most things tend to be, don't they? Other than letters get delivered by the likes of, you know, uh, Amazon and co, all of those big delivery companies. But this particular venue, as I say, the Phantom of the Opera, has just been announced today that very soon, after the coronation on May the 6th over here in London, they will change the name back to His Majesty's Theatre. Now, this particular Royal Theatre has a long history. It's currently owned by LW Theatres, Lloyd Webber Theatres. That's right, Lord Andrew Lloyd Webber himself. But of course, really, the Haymarket, as it is uh, fondly known to many people, His Majesty's, Her Majesty's, has, as I say, a very strong royal connection. As ever, let me explain. His Majesty's Theatre opened in 1705 as the Queen's Theatre to honour Queen Anne, and then became the King's Theatre in 1714 after King George I. The theatre changes to His or Her Majesty's to reflect the current monarch, and last changed name from His to Her Majesty's Theatre in 1952. Now, as we all know, the brilliant composer Andrew Lloyd Webber has also been asked to contribute some wonderful music of his to the coronation spectacle. But isn't it nice to know that a theatre owned by him, or, you know, when you think about it, steeped in a lot of royal history, will once again ring in the changes. So if you have got tickets booked to Phantom of the Opera over here in the very heart of London, just remember when you get in the bus, the tube, or indeed if you're lucky enough to afford a London black cab, remember very soon it will be His Majesty's Theatre, Haymarket London, and not Her Majesty's Theatre. Whatever you do, we hope you enjoy the show. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.